In the previous plate element videos, we showed how to model the slabs in a multi-story building using plate elements. This time we're going to use them to model a circular steel tank. Let's start by using the structure wizard to quickly generate the tank. Next, we will set up filters for the wall and base so that we can work on them separately. Starting with the wall, we rotate to a non-elevated viewpoint, select all the wall elements, click the right mouse button, and then create a filter and name it Wall. We then repeat the process for the base. Now we can select either of the filters from the top toolbar. Or cycle through them by holding down the keyboard control key while pressing the page up or down keys. Assuming that the base of the tank is supported over its entire area, we will model this by choosing the base filter, selecting all the base nodes, and then specifying a restraint that prevents any vertical movement. Note that if the tank was supported on an elastic material such as soil, we could have used spring restraints instead of fixed. We could have also added compression-only members below the tank if we wanted the tank to be allowed to lift off. For stability, we need to stop the tank from moving horizontally. So that the horizontal restraints don't induce extra stresses in the tank, we will apply them to just two of the base nodes. Let's prevent all horizontal movements of the node at the left side of the base. and then stop the tank from rotating about that node by restraining the node on the opposite side of the base in a direction normal to the line joining the two nodes. Next, we will stiffen the tank by adding ring beams to the tank wall at the top and close to the bottom. We will start by turning off the filters so that we can see the entire model, and then draw segments of the ring beams at the desired locations. We can then use the copy tool to copy the ring beam segments around the tank. using the center node in the base as the center of the ring beam circles. Finally, we will select the ring beams and assign a section property to them. We also need to offset the ring beams outwards slightly so that they are positioned on the outside of the tank wall and not embedded in it. This completes the structural input phase. 
In the next video, we will apply some loads, analyze the model, and then examine the results.